guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five cold weather outfits that are actually cute. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. Okay, before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the support through Vlogmas. It is Christmas Eve, the day that you are watching this. So I just want to say thank you for the support this year. I have been loving posting all of these videos for you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm excited to not feel the pressure to post every single day day over the next week although there will still be videos coming for you guys I'm gonna do my best in beauty of course and then a few other videos that I have planned so I hope that you guys have a very Merry Christmas a Happy New Year I hope that your holiday season has been amazing and yeah that is it I just wanted to say a quick thank you for all of the support and yeah, so this video, I just wanted to share some cold weather outfits that are actually cute. If you guys live in a cold weather climate like I do, I live in Michigan, some of the cold weather clothes are just total bummers. They're not cute at all, and they're just practical. So I wanted to put together some outfit ideas for you guys that are practical but are also cute so that you can actually wear them in real life and feel confident without just feeling like you're bundled up and look like a child. So that is what we're doing today. I'm going to link all the stuff down below. Everything that's in stock or that I can find online, I will link down below for you guys. If I can't find it, I'll try and find something similar just so that you guys have some good ideas of what you can wear. So yeah, let's get into the outfits. This is the outfit that I wore to go get our Christmas tree. So I have my heart beanie on again, and then I have this Sherpa jacket. It's so cute. It's lined with this like faux suede, so no air goes through it, which keeps it really warm. Even though it's pretty lightweight, it's warm. And then it does have a zipper, and it has snaps as well. And then I have my sweater on. This is just like a color blocked sweater. It's a long sleeve sweater. And one of my tricks when I'm trying to layer for the cold is when you're wearing knit sweaters, a lot of times the air or breeze will just go right through them. So I also have a tank top on underneath it that's just tucked into my jeans. So you can't see it anywhere. Like the sleeves aren't sticking out or anything, but it's just there to kind of be a wind blocker, if you will. And then I have skinny jeans on, these really thick boot socks, and then my wedge boots. These are so warm. They're fully insulated, they're waterproof, and they could not be warmer. So this look is super warm. Also, if it's really, really cold, or if you're gonna be outside, of course, wear gloves or mittens. These are the ones that I've been wearing a ton this year. They're the kind of like mittens. They're like gloves, kind of, but they have the little flap to be mittens too. This is the next outfit. So I just have this cream colored beanie on that has this cute little palm. And then I have my the same glove mittens on. And then this maroon burgundy jacket. This is so pretty. It's so comfy. And I love that it looks so like holiday-y and festive. It's like the perfect winter jacket to wear if you are going out to a nice dinner or something like that. And then I have my jeans. I have these knee-high heeled boots. Again, these are a little bit dressier. They're under 40 and they're actually still in stock, which just, I said this in my last video, I'm shocked that they're still in stock. So if you haven't gotten them, scoop them up. Um, and then I'm gonna show you what I have on underneath, hold on. Okay, so I just took the hat, gloves, and coat off. And then this is what we're left with. This is a green, I know it's kind of hard to tell. Hopefully you can see it there, chenille sweater. You can wear it off the shoulder like I am right now. You can also wear it on both shoulders and it's just this V-neck. I think it's so pretty. It's really cozy and soft, and I just can't say enough good things about it. So this is a really nice piece to wear, especially if you're going to be at like a holiday party or just inside somewhere, if you're going out to dinner or a bar or something like that. So this is like a warm outfit that you could wear inside too, and then layer stuff outside. Okay, two things I almost forgot. One, this bag looks so cute with that outfit and also I think that this is the perfect bag to carry during the winter because it's big enough that you can throw your hat scarf mittens in when you're not using them if you're inside a bar or anything like that or like in a restaurant or you just went inside somewhere um, I know that it gets so hot when you go inside after walking around outside when it's cold out so I like to carry a bag that I can actually throw my stuff in so I'm not sweating to death and then the second thing is for these boots they're a little bit tight but I wear 
thick boot socks with them just as another added way to add warmth. Okay, this look is more if it's like not snowing, but it's still cold out. So I am wearing this blanket scarf. It's a black and white blanket scarf. And usually if I wear a blanket scarf because it blocks my neck, I'll usually wear earrings. So I have these hoop earrings on that I feel like they're a little bit thicker. So they're a bit more of a statement. And then I have this black and gold crossbody bag. A lot of times if I'm wearing a winter coat, I like to wear a crossbody because if I wear something on my shoulder, it falls off because coats are big and bulky. And then I just have this black jacket on. This is kind of my everyday jacket. It has a hood with a faux fur trim. So if it does get super cold, I could put my hood up in this look and be like a full-on Eskimo um, and then I have I'm just wearing the same jeans because if you don't feel like changing them but these booty wedges they I'm just wearing ankle socks with them but they are lined on the inside with the faux fur so I'll show you guys what that looks like but this is the outer look and then on the inside you could just wear any sweater but i'm just wearing this creamy white sweater and again i have that tank on to kind of block the wind so i'm still layered up and you don't have to zip up your jacket if it's not that cold either obviously but this is just a neutral kind of like easy look and this is something that if i was going out to dinner or something i would wear because i wouldn't want to mess up with my hair with a hat if i knew i was going to take it off and then of course you can wear these because i feel like these booty wedges are cute and they're like going out ish while well, they're still warm. These are the wedges and on the inside you can see they have the um, fur lining all the way in. It goes all the way to the toe. The only part that's not lined all the way through is after it hits the ankle here, from here to your heel it's not, like you can see right there, and then the bottom is not. But everything all of this part is all lined with the faux fur. So they're super, super cozy. Because of the nature of this outfit, I'm gonna show it to you in layers. So first up, I have my cream beanie on again. And a lot of times if I wear a scarf and a beanie, I will just keep my hair tucked into the scarf, however it is. And then I have this infinity scarf. So this is one of those like, you're gonna be in really cold temperatures. I'm going up north for New Year's Eve, up to Northern Michigan, and so, this will probably be something that I wear up there. So then I have my mittens on. I have that same black parka coat. I have my faux leather leggings, those thick boot socks you can see hanging out of these boots. And then these are my very big and bulky Sorel boots. So let's take off one layer. Okay, I took off my scarf, my coat, and my mittens. So now I have this tunic striped sweater on. It's a little bit oversized, which I really like. This is actually sized down one size. So if you do wanna get it, definitely go one size down. So I have this on, and then I'm gonna take the sweater off and show you what I have on underneath that. Okay, so this is what I have under the scarf, this ribbed long sleeve shirt. I, am, I love these, I have them in three colors, they're so good. So this is a really good layering piece. And then under that, I have that same tank top on that I've had for all of them. So I have three layers on the top, the tank top, a long sleeve, and then the sweater, and then a coat. So like I said, this is a really good, like warm, warm, warm outfit. Okay, for my last outfit, this is kind of like a casual, very layered look. So it's like you could be outside in the cold or you could also be inside at a restaurant. So I have that same black and white checked scarf. I actually put my hair up and I have my hoop earrings in for this one. And I feel like that is easier for me for this. You could totally take the scarf off and put a hat on instead or do both, whatever you're comfortable with. And then I have my same black parka on. And then I ha still have the full leather leggings on, the same boot socks. And then I put my wedge boots back on. These are so warm, but I love them if I'm actually going to be like out and about socializing and whatnot. So let me take my coat off and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so this is it without the coat on. I have still the scarf, which I'll take off in a second. And then I have this uh, quilted vest. And then I have that same white ribbed long sleeve and then that same tank top on. So I still have a lot of layers. If you were inside or something, you could take this off and just wear it like this. And I feel like this would be so cute for anywhere, really. I mean, you can totally go somewhere casual like this. I think it's a great layering outfit. And I like 
this one because you can layer as many things as you want. You can put the scarf on, the coat on, you can zip up your vest, you can keep it unzipped. You could even swap out this long sleeve tee with a thicker sweater under here if it's really cold. So I think the moral of the story is if you live somewhere cold, learn to layer. It's going to be your best friend. Alrighty guys, those are my five cold weather outfits that are actually cute. Let me know down below which one is your favorite one or what is your trick to make your winter outfits cuter. Let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys